So I thought this thing was interesting. Um, I've had this for a few years and somebody gave it to me. Um, somebody with native origins to uh, Russia, I guess. But um, this is obviously just like an American old like Plano fish and tackle box. And uh, nothing really sticks out about it um, until you open it up. It's all fucked up and broken, but it's got a bunch of taps and dies in it. But the crazy thing about these is they appear to be Russian. Uh, and I'm just opening this up for the first time in a couple years, but yeah, um, these are uh, Russian manufactured tools, it, it appears like. No, this one's American. That one could be Russian. I went through some of these and a lot of this appeared to be in Cyrillic, so I'm just, uh, you're seeing this along with me straight through the camera lens. Punch. Yeah, see, here we go. Definitely Cyrillic uh, characters. Yeah, that one's got a couple on it too. Tap handle. Um, all right, this one says Japan, three quarter inch. These are all labeled in um, Russian. Those are just single dies. Looks like some taps. Those are all worn off, so I can't really see. I get to opening those up, but yeah, that's that must be an American barcode, right? This one is some of these. I know these bigger ones had uh, some Cyrillics on them. They look like Mosin receivers. <laughs> yeah, see, there we go. or something half inch yeah there's definitely some straight up russian characters this one too i actually used this earlier <laughs> pretty decent little handle though this guy doesn't have no markings on that one I'm just going through this because I'm going to be uh, organizing these, but I thought it would be interesting to make a video. Let's see, another half inch tap. That's like a cheap, like, tap handle. And then uh, at the bottom of this one was this old thing. I pulled this one out already and looked at it. It's just a uh, American old school tap and die set probably from like the 90s it says made in taiwan but uh yeah i mean i thought that was pretty neat seeing these uh, old russian tools you don't see that every day so i was taking a closer look at some of these tools and like this is an american made one and it says on the side label it's got an american barcode it says on the side label that it was purchased in Mission Viejo, California, and um, it's just labeled in Russian. So whoever owned these tools was obviously native Russian speaker. Um, a lot of these little tabs and some of the dies too were made in Japan, which I mean makes sense. That would be pretty common to have Japanese tools in Russia, I feel like. This was a little too small. You might not be able to see it, but this one earlier three quarter inch tap made in Japan and they'll have the same marks the Japanese ones some of them are um, American tools but then I was looking closer at like this one right here I picked it up and it didn't have any uh let's zoom in here didn't have any markings that I could see without really squinting but if you look carefully at this one there it is can just barely see it's super lightly scribed there's a manufacturer's mark ussr 
type three quarter inch. So that's interesting. And these were all the ones that were uh, marked in Russian that you could see. And then these are all labeled Russian, but a lot of them look like they were probably purchased in a hardware store afterwards. And they are marked just like this tap with the Jap made in Japan uh, marking. And like some of them you can see, like this one's obviously like just an M3. And then there's a 3.5 in there too. But these are, these are marked in Cyrillic. So, just an interesting little find.